Should have tried this regular papaya first. It's fucking insane.
So spent all day blowing up that stupid mattress. Like, oh my god, my arms are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Same shit. Same yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can just imagine that's what's fucked up. Oh yeah, Jack. Oh yeah, he, he's great. That was he was there. Uh, For our oh, show, right? Yeah. <laughs>
we just tried it now. I think I think you should not stress about it too much. Wait here, this one doesn't go in here. Use a flower for that one. Is there a flower? It's a flower for the top here. This one either, I think. Hey, Molly. Did he come sleep with you guys in the middle, or? But you wouldn't know. You guys were all No, man. He was chilling by my, my legs last night. Yeah, and then you left, and then he went with you. Yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah. Man, I thought I had a little cut up button tonight. Yeah, no. Alright, so what we're going to do right now, we've pre-planned that we're going to go fuck Derek up right now. He's going to go in his room and just fuck him up. But uh, he's not going to know this until right now. The good part is he's going to be able to see us doing it when he watches this footage back. I don't know about that, but... Yeah. Well, I'm going to sit down 
Welcome to the food menu. That is me. Just ruined the video. <laughs> like, oh, not like good at all.
jazz fusion there it is. Like that. that's that's usually my pitch that's my elevator pitch because people like horn fronted yeah. and they like horny things yeah. and we got both and uh, and I don't know if we are real jazz fusion I don't really know what we are yeah. it's very difficult to find bands that sound like us at least ones that are big enough for kind of the general public to understand what we're talking about but we just go with jazz fusion yeah. yeah and how long have you guys been playing two I think it's about three years Two and a half to three yeah. years. Actually, yeah. we used to jam. On three years. But, uh, it was oh, just yeah. the three of us, like Mike, myself, and yeah. Carmen. Like we were jamming for half a year, but we needed another play just to fill in the gap. And then yeah. we got Derek after a year. And that's when we, we really knew we wanted to make this you yeah. know, serious. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And and now, since you guys have been you know, probably running a pretty tight ship with like horns and so many different pieces in your music, what's, what's, on, the, what's on the horizon for you guys? Uh, finishing up tour and then we really just want to start writing again. Yeah. It's been a long time. Like every time we try to, there's like a show coming up. So like we just want to focus on just that for a while. Yeah. Will you be <laughs> recording the next one or the EP on your own? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he mixed it. Because I mixed the album, right? Yeah. And yeah, that yeah. was a lot of work. Because uh, like uh, we were all working and then uh, you know we would practice our instruments, come back to my house, and we would mix from like. 10 o'clock till 4 o'clock in the morning sometimes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just wake up. Yeah, Work yeah. 7 a.m. the next day. Just... Yeah, I wish I could make full time, but it's not possible. So that's why the album took a long time. Yeah. yeah.
didn't know the controls. Are you ready to play a show, Carmen? No. Not at all. You're invading your space! Oh, oh my god! Oh! It's getting owned right now. Alright, guys. This is how the show's gonna go tonight. I'm joking. Are you? I don't, oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Holy fuck, boys. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go home, take a nap, and uh, yeah. Second set? Yeah. Straight in and it felt good. Yeah, I didn't have pedals with Ewe. Okay. Why not? Because in order to use the pedals, I have to use the mixer. Uh, yeah, it's like a separate line.
Okay, so this is our creepy home in New Glasgow, Nova Scotia. So before we go down to the basement, uh, let's go outside. So we'll get that at the end. Never mind, let's, let's not do that. So this is our creepy home in New Glasgow, Nova Scotia. getting on this camera here is, is the scent. It smells like, uh, anyway, it smells like old wood. It smells like Pioneer Village. Okay. All right, guys, let's do it. We're going to the basement. So uh, yesterday when we checked in, um, we noticed how creepy the basement looked. Is there a light on? We can, all right, that didn't all do lights. anything. Yeah, Perfect. Little, uh, all that, all that. So there's a little, there's a little, uh, latch there so it actually prevents anything or anyone from the basement to come upstairs um, but there is no basement entrance uh, from the side of the house which would lead me to believe that no one lives down there or no, no normal person would be able to just kind of live down here okay so we're opening we're going down oh boy okay okay so the first thing we noticed was the axe you guys want to do it so brave. It's actually so fucking weird. What the fuck? Is that pigskin? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Take the camera with you. Show the people. That pigskin. What was man. that? What was? What the fuck? What is this? Twenty bodies. This doesn't make sense. It's a basement. What the 
fuck? It's like four feet tall. Dirty as fuck. Scarecrow man. I'm feeling cobwebs already. What the shit, man? Wow. And like half of it's just fucking demolished on the right side. You see that crap over there? It doesn't even make sense. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> nice axe shot right at the end. So we're already starting to smell that kind of like, it smells like something's dying in here. Old wood. It's creepy. Yeah. Pretty creepy. What was peculiar about this room was the baby carriage, uh, which Derek volunteered. He wanted to sleep in here and be haunted by his... Uh, and then there's this. So this is like, there's a room here. There's something here, but it's barricaded by a wooden panel. And uh, this is my favorite part. Got the shovel and everything. <sighs> the washroom is from the 19... 40s, probably. Wow. Derek has been wow. our Tetris master for this whole trip. Nobody else knows how to load this van like him. We don't have an inch of space to spare. And only he knows the way.
It's alive. That's juicy, man. Eh? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's an end. Oh, no. Oh. It's probably from like, we're cutting vegetables with it before. Bullshit. Alright, I'm gonna like fold it and then cut it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Everyone, oh, fuck. This thing's wet. It's legit wet and it's hot as hell. <laughs> Uh, can someone give me a plate? Is there a... If we had a toothpick or something. Yeah. I'm gonna like hold it like this and someone's gonna have to chop this bitch. Um, That's how you fucking do it. Hey. Jesus Christ. Decapitated that fucking armor out of that.
Merci. Seduction by C.J. Miller. Look at these. These are all intrepid men and passionate women fighting boldly for the destiny of a fierce, lawless land. Love swept in emerald sunshine. Handsome as sin by Kelsey Roberts. Oh, seductive, dangerous. Even better than before. Oh. 